I'm laughing because my morphing life is a mess, but I've made it and I wouldn't trade it because I stay faded. Hey guys, in this video, I will gonna show you how you can make a robot something like this, which having a capacity of range one kilometers. We are using a fly sky in this. So let me show you how you I made this one. This is the computer transmitter I am using. You can see if I come to the closely and this is the computer transmitter which is available on anywhere online. You can check it or different types of available but I choose it Flysky CT6B. You can see right here there will be an option. It is a CT6B. This one we are using. The motor driver I am using in this circuit is this one L29810. You can use your traditional L293 d you can use in this circuit to build a robot like this and you will need a uh, four motors or you can need or if you made a caster wheel or you need only two motors so let's get started The transmitter, this transmitter we are using, this transmitter output will be a PPM wave. So listen this guys, this is a PPM wave, but the L293, L29810 we are using is the, this L29810. This L29810 requires a PWM signal to run a motors. So if I am using a PPM signal such output and if I am using this uh, for driving PWM then there will be a conversion between these two so that I can use that only for that I will explain you in the program parts required for this robot we need Arduino Uno or Arduino Uno R3 we will need this you can buy this on online you will get this and we will need this L29810 L29810 is basically a motor driver you can even use L293D L293D which will work same as same but even they are both are different because L293D have one amp output but L293 L2918 have two amp output so it will drive faster than L293D so I recommend you to use this L2918 so next is fly sky transmitter and receiver this will come in a single pack and this I am using this transmitter called as CT6B this CT6B we are using but it's not mandatory that you have to use this CT6B there are higher version also available you can better go for that this having the range of 1 kilometer this having the range of 1 kilometer and you have more sophisticated which can go up to 3 kilometers so this is the next part we are using this robotic chassis this there are so many variety are available just I am giving example you need this 4 wheels or 4 motors or I have also said that you can use one caster wheel and you can just use uh, two motors so that you can control by using two motors also so these are all like a combo pack it's uh, taking it in a combo pack will be a better one just invest on battery of lipo battery it will give a life and it will come for long life so I would recommend you to use battery which is less than 12 volt which means a 12 volt battery are available because your Arduino is compatible with only voltage which is less than 12 volts which is less than 12 volt don't go for more than 12 volt your Arduino won't work so this is the parts and next we will get into the original circuit diagram so here you can see I will draw the own circuit how it will work so here they are already given motor motors are connected to these wires and here it is connected to these wires and okay now don't neglect it so what is this 12 volt jumper wire you may have came to know that this is what happens if you remove it so if you are connecting a power supply here which is greater than 12 volt which is greater than 12 volt then you need to remove this 12 volt jumper so if you are connecting so in this case what we are doing is we are just connecting a 12 volt battery so we have to place this jumper as usual we don't need to remove this jumper really the circuit connection is if you have a six wires so these six wires I have shown right here so if it is like this then first one you need to connect it to pin number three and the next one is pin number four and continuously the pin number five you have to connect so this have to be connected like this same like this I am showing right here same like this and next one is you are showing and next you have to connect this one to pin number 11 pin number 12 pin number 13 
so this will be connected to pin number 12 and pin number 13 so don't worry by seeing these lines but these are all so easy this 6 are connected to this 6 you can see right here if you are still not understanding so make sure that you just connect into 3 4 5 and 11 12 13 so that's it so after connecting this one you need to take care of this one so this fly sky transmitter there are three pins you can see these three pins the first pin is always a signal pin and the second one is positive power supply and negative power supply so here they have shown battery so positive power supply is to be connected with uh, a 5 volt there is a 5 volt right here and this negative should be connected to a ground like this so after this the circuit will become complete and you have to use this channel 3 and 4 so connect this channel 3 to A0 and channel 4 to A1 so make sure that these are all connected as I have shown in the previous one and you have to connect these are all right here and what the 12 volt power supply coming just connect the same to V in and ground so what the 12 volt power supply battery you have connected same pin you have to connect it to V in and ground so if you made mismatch then your circuit will burst so this is the main thing uh, once again I will show you this is the battery and this is the negative of the battery this negative of the battery will get connected into so this negative of the battery will get connected into here and this positive of the battery you are seeing there this is the positive of the battery this positive of the battery should be connected to here so after take another two wire and connect it to Arduino so that it will take the power supply so after taking power supply what I have shown previously those are all you have to do so this is the circuit part in the next video I will gonna explaining how you can program and I will explaining about program thank you guys if you like my video please give me a like and subscribe if you like my video I will get more interest to make some of the videos and I will be doing better videos thank you